So can you tell me, what, what was your vision behind Lavastoke Park? Well, I, I came back, I was in America and did a high-tech company and came back here and it said, it was completely out of the company, said, I'll produce the best tasting, healthiest food for myself and my family. A bit of a fantasy. And that's how it all started as a hobby. It started out where we, we, we only wanted to sell what we produced and uh, we wanted to try and sell it from the soil to the mouth. It's changed somewhat because we had to get to a scale where it was viable. Uh, and so we went bigger than that. So we got Buffalo Burgers in Waitrose, GBK. Um, we've got their, we their premier brand. Abel and Cole, we do their meat. So there's several from there. So we, we had to get to a scale where that, where that worked, yeah. We have a variation of animals uh, from Buffalo, which we carry 1,650 head to Guernseys, to pigs, various breeds, native breeds, um, sheep, chickens, lairs, and meat birds, turkeys, geese. Do the full range for the shops in the meat systems. Um, we also run an abattoir in processing system, as well as meat and packaging. Um, and we have our own lab for analysis in managing the farms. All the farms are biodynamic, um, and we're involved in partner farms outside as well. Two main strategies that we use here is, is the application of compost. So we, we tailor make um, different types of compost for different soil types or for different crop types. And um, we try to produce the best compost that we um, can with the best microbial activity in there. So that then we introduce those microbes uh, in the compost out into the soil. And we also use another strategy called compost tea, which involves taking that same compost, mixing it with water and extracting out all of those microorganisms into liquid solution. Then to that solution we will add select food sources and some oxygen to brew and multiply those microorganisms and we'll brew them away for about 24 to 48 hours. At the end of that time we have a, a liquid soup of literally billions of organisms uh, per milliliter and then we will uh, spray that, that solution out over the foliage or drench down into the soil to repopulate the soil uh, with uh, these beneficial microbes. Well if you think a handful of good soil has more living things than people on earth and that's what makes uh, the, the minerals and the soil soluble to the plant. Without that, the plant won't grow. Conventionally, you feed the plant mostly. So th that's the very complexity. The, 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 if you look at it from the other way, science knows about less than 5% on how that works. You can get a coli, put it into good soil, and in 24 hours, they can't detect where it's gone. They don't understand it. So it's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of science or, to be gained in the biology, I think. Microbiology, I think, is one of the sciences that will uh, achieve the most in, in um, the way we live in the, next, uh, in the next years. At the moment, with the current economic times, there's a lot of interest in uh, this kind of approach of farming, more uh, natural and sustainable approaches of farming for two reasons. One, of course, is the consumer is uh, looking for clean, green food, and there's a, a growing interest in organic food generally, um, is one factor, but also uh, with the current price, uh, the current economic times and the current price of oil, um, which is increasing, of course, the cost of fertilizers and the cost of pesticides are also going up. So even for the conventional farmer, he's also quite interested in, in what we're doing and some of these technologies, because by increasing the microbial activity in, in their soils, using compost and compost tea, for example, they can actually help to reduce their dependency on fertilizer and pesticide inputs because microorganisms do many different things in the soil, um, but they can partially substitute the role of fertilizers and the role of pesticides by helping to feed the plant and helping to protect the plant. Basically, mixed stocking systems on organic and biodynamic farms is the way it works. Keep clean grazing systems and all the other rotations. I've never come across buffalo in a system like this before, but it works very well. Um, the buffalo are a bovine beast, so it's not that different to a cow, even though the character is very different. But obviously we're after the mozzarella cheese, and also it, it is the biggest herd in the country. And it specializes in a, in a species that really isn't maybe native to this country, but it seems to work very well in our climate. Well, again, I look for the best in every area and I look for the best in farming uh, vehicles. And um, I suppose there's nearly two, two ways of going in, in farm 
uh, vehicles that I could understand. One is that people buy old tractors and fix them up and think they're saving money, and I'm not sure they are in the long run. And the other is you try and get the best equipment, and you don't do that. I first bought a tractor, and I won't name it, but I said if it's down for a certain amount of time, it was a new model, uh, I want to give it back. I don't mind taking a new model, but anyway, it, it did break down, and it, we, we gave it back. And then I just looked for the best tractor. And um, there was no question, the answer always came back that Fent was the best tractor, and they are the best tractor. And uh, we, although we're not totally in Fent, I would like to do, do that. They, I think they're better in nearly every, uh, every part of their uh, tractor. They seem to do something a little bit more to make it better. Uh, if we consider the total nutrient reserves um, and look at how much is actually there, uh, our, our strategy actually helps a farm, tells a farmer when not to put fertilizer down because actually he has enough there in the total pool. It's just not plant available. And the key to making those total nutrients available to the plant is biology, is microorganisms. So we use the things like compost and compost tea to stimulate microbial activity so that they will solubilize the nutrients in that total pool and make them into plant available form. The first thing is now we, we've got to become profitable. I've put in all these different things. Um, for instance, our salami factory, salami, bacon, smoked, is not selling yet. We've been doing prototypes and trying. The mozzarella has just come on. We've done a lot of prototypes. I like to brag that my pigs are the only pigs fed on buffalo mozzarella. Um, but hopefully now we can start getting where we're making it um, well nearly every time and we're starting to sell that now in Selfridges. It's going to go into Harrods, Harvey Nicks. Um, and, and possibly going to wait for it. Farming Sunday is brought to you in association with Farmers Guardian, agriculture's national newspaper.